Good morning, everybody. Today I am going to show you how the optimized idle works on a 2024 Freightliner Cascadia. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come down to your key and you are going to just turn it to the on position without starting the truck. And then we're going to back out of the menu. I don't so this is the screen you've got. Now you're going to use your arrow over here, bring up the menu, zoom in a little bit, and you're going to go to the truck icon. We were here, now we're going to the truck icon. Go ahead and press OK. Then you're going to scroll down. You optimized idle and you're going to hit OK. You're going to have this screen. Now to enable it says press OK. So we're going to press OK. Interior comfort. You're going to select that right arrow button and switch that to on. Then you're going to press OK again. Now it's in standby mode. So the batteries will, when they, when they get low, the truck will turn on automatically to recharge the batteries. And now I'm going to show you the other part, which is how to run the air conditioning and heat. Okay, now you're back in the bunk. And you have these two controls right here. And all you're going to do, if you want air conditioning, you're just going to leave it all the way to the cold. You're going to come over here. You're going to turn this just one notch. You'll hear the um, sound of the truck starting. Now the truck has started and as you'll see it has automatically engaged the air conditioning. Now do not use the controls up front when you have the optimized idle engaged. You're going to come back to your sleeper compartment and run your temperature controls from this right here. If you want air conditioning leave it on the cold. If you want heat, you'd switch it up into the red zone. Hope that helps everyone. Optimized idle is not as bad as people have uh, turned it out to be. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but I actually really enjoy it. Keeps the truck at the temperature I want, keeps my batteries charged when they need to be, and uh, don't worry, the truck will shut off eventually, but the compressor will still keep your air conditioning flowing just fine, or your heat, whichever you're doing. So enjoy and stay safe out there, drivers. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Let's get the message out there, and this channel, let's grow it. I've got so much in store for you guys. Stay safe out there.